Oh, I don't know how we're going to go with this one. I, I did this watercolour some months, well, two or three months ago. It was looking at it over the back of Banstead Woods uh, from my customer's house. There's a chain link fence along here, but all the residents that live, are lucky enough to live with these, this sort of view, have access to this private part of uh, the land. Uh, so I've just, I don't like it personally, I don't think I made a very good job of it. It looks alright as a demo. I've gone over it with a coat of PVA glue, diluted, and dried it with a hairdryer. I hope I've only done one side for the moment, it's just it's a little bit bouncy. Well, that's a bit bouncy too. Um, so I'm going to go over and do something like it, but make another painting out of it. And I'm using as a, a basis of my style on this one, or and the one yesterday, on, by Arthur Madison, he's about my age, um, a superb modern impressionist. Have a look at him, I'll put a link if I remember, I'll put a link on the, the, this video to his gallery and they're very very beautiful very pointless and I think he paints far more broadly now because it takes so long to do these things and you can work on them for hours and hours it's sort of like modern modern Monetism but uh, he's he's his subject matter is very varied I stick to landscapes and occasionally do a, a building, but he, he does churches, all sorts of things, people, children playing in pools, in the Wandle, uh, with my local river, although he's not a local artist. I believe he lives in Ireland now, I, don't know, I think he is Irish. I can't remember too much about him. Von Lanson did a, a book of modern Impressionism, which I haven't got now. Uh, and there's a, a chapter on Arthur, I'm giving a sort of a short uh, biopic. And I've always loved his work. I don't paint like him, I just, he, he just helps you out of, when you get stuck in a painting and you don't know what to do, go and, go and look, go and look at other artists and see how they've solved the problems. And, and that's how I learned. I didn't have anybody looking over my shoulder telling me how to do it. I just had the desire to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'll put this, this distant background in here and I'm going, to, I'm going to open some of this up here so that I can show some of this, the trees behind there. And just move the foliage up a bit and put a bit down below. And this is just the foreground, just, a, just stuff really. So we'll put that in shadow in an Arthur Madison fashion. Uh, right, okay, so on my palette, I probably won't use the black, but is uh, white, of course. Uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, cerulean, burnt sienna, which I probably won't use. Burnt umber, I might use. Cadmium yellow, I've got some sap green and some some uh, viridian, cerulean, I don't know if I mentioned that, but, and some orange and yellow ochre. So I'll put a sky in, a, a simple sky. Right, it lives no longer, that painting, so goodbye. Our detail is just going to be lost in a, in a lot of blobby painting. So a bit of red to that, and a bit of blue. Can't show you the mixing because it's a, well I can't because I've only got one camera. So we'll just, just go over it. I'm going to put those trees back. I might put two, I might put three, it just depends. But since a lot of this is going to be covered, we don't have to be too uh, exact with it. It gives you great scope for sort of impressionist um, counter change, complementary colours, all that sort of thing. That blue, that cerulean is just a little bit of well, Viridian, it's just a little bit too 
dark. And we can use a bit of yellow oak and a bit of red in there. My sky's too dark, but we let it dry and, and we can go over it. Work on different bits of the painting. All right, let's miss cerulean, a bit of red, a bit of um, ultramarine. Let's get some. Some more bluey, ready. Don't want too many darks in this area here. Just open it up a little bit. We can put in uh, some some greens on there. Some green film fields, bluey green. So it looks like. Okay. No attempts at finishing, just put the colours in. I'm just using this worn out Chinese brush. I've got loads of them. I, I buy them when I see them, the new ones, but, uh, but over the years they've decreased in quality, I'm afraid. They've kept the price up, but the, uh, I'm afraid the quality, or the, they're using less hair. Okay, let's get some shadows in these trees here. And then we can put some brilliant yellows over, well, oranges. I hope you don't think this is sacrilege going over the old painting, but. Uh, I usually just obliterate it, you know, there's too even in there. That shape is just too regular, I don't like it. So we're going to change that. Change that with the sky. Right, now a nice, nice bright oakery field in here. Use a bit of sap green, a bit of yellow as well, just various greens. Okay, and we'll warm up the uh, grass in the foreground. Um, I'll, I'll just give a bit of a spray. Now when you see these two, two uh, video jokes, part one, part two, I can't really see the point in anybody unliking, ticking the unlike, on the, uh, on the first video, because the first one usually bears little relationship to the finished one. Better to unlike the, the second one, then I'd understand that, but it uh, seems a bit pointless. You know what I mean? Uh, I hope I'm not getting in the way. Right, let's. Uh, just warming up some of this here. Just, just try to cover up the I'm missing a bit of red in with the greens. Just 
go in between the chunks on these. How quick that dries. Right, now we want some nice lilacs. But I'm mixing, I haven't got any cobalt. It's not I have got cobalt, um, any um, cobalt violet, I was going to say. So, just foliage. So we're making a painting rather than a view of anything specific. I'm so far away from what the scene is. I've got a photograph of it somewhere. I'll tell you on the phone and then we can put some nice dark notes in there. A good dark is mixing three primaries. This is what I'm doing now. Darker shadow in. Yeah, we can go over with brights afterwards. Get some sublim in there as well, I think. I'll probably have to do this in uh, two parts. So, unlike the second part, rather than the first part, if you're still watching. Right, let's do a bit of this background there. Right, do a bit of, bit of style now. Clean the brush. I'm going to lighten that sky, it's just a little bit too, too dark and it was quite a bright day as I remember. Right, that'll do, we can go back over that. Let's just reinstate that background.
Right. Uh, let's get all these colours into the, uh, the trees on the left. Let's warm up a little bit, bit, bit of red here and there. Bob Manson described Arthur Madison as a painting as a web of colour, just building up some lovely, lovely lights against the, the dark violets. It wasn't quite spring really on the day that it's coming up. I think the, the little bits of uh, green on the trees, but but we're not going to pay too much attention to to that. Right, well, now we need some darker colours in the base of those trees because it's all under the canopy or the lower at the lower hanging branches and stuff Okay, let's do a bit on the other side. We'll let that dry off a bit. The paper's sort of going out a little bit now. So we'll just put in some some trees, uh, some leaves. I don't want to do too many uh, little leaves. Get some of those violets, kind of mauves. We've got a few leaves that are overhanging here. Just using the same old brush. Using quite a bit of cerulean in this for my shadowy colours. So I put some lights back on these. Well, uh, it makes sense. Well, let's do a bit of um, uh, some of these trunks. I can put some light bits on these trees.
All right, that's fine. Okay, this one in here. So I'll go back over, over that background in a minute. So whatever you put or put down, you can change. This is the joy of painting with acrylic. The weather's still bad, not well, not nice. It must be summer now. And it's well I've seen the sun since uh, Monday. Late Monday. That's old man we haven't been for our bike ride. I'm just making up these colours, it just doesn't matter. It's, by the time I've gone over with all the lighter colours, it won't. It won't look so solid. It'll be a broken colour. Right, let's put in some of this background here. And I might carry that through there. I think I will actually. Right, get some of that behind there, so darks. So if I put dark behind, I can put light on the trunks. Do the shadows from make be made from blues. So the light is coming from the from the front, we'll say it's front lit rather than back lit. Let's get some broader strokes in there. Put the darks in so that the lights will, will sharp against that. Right, let's go back onto this here and then I'll call it a day for the number for the first bit. So unfortunately with this camera I can't pause and just carry carry on again later on and, and, and the video just carries on as a solid video. I have to Put them all together on, on the Windows Movie Maker. It doesn't take long. But it's all when you're doing three videos to do, and then you can do the time lapse as well. It all takes quite a bit of time. Right, let's get some pinky, pinky yellows. I just spent a few minutes just putting some paint on here. So I'm mixing a bit of yellow ochre with a bit of cadmium red and a, a lot of white to make a base for 
the greens to go over that. And also I'm making a surface that will roughen, roughen up a bit. Arthur Madison is a great one for putting reds in his background. But like reds, oranges, cobalt, use a little cobalt. I like that colour. Where is it? Don't like that size. Nice. You look like well, so it's looking all right. Right, some cerulean, some red, some white. Get some in here. This translates into into shadow. Well, that's the idea of it. Just gives an idea of, of a different approach to painting rather than painting realism. We're trying to make paintings rather than photographic likenesses. And then we, we can put some bits of shadow in behind these trees. heavy for that, I'll change that later. What I'll do, I'm going to have some lunch and then I'll come back, I'll work on this for a few few minutes and then I'll start a new video on it so we can see how we're going. There's some warm in there, it's just a bit obvious there. Okay. Right, thanks for watching part one. Bye for now.